Another key strategy in regards to uh, fast ways to generate revenue and cash flow is statistics show that in the United States of America and Canada, that 96% of all men and women who attend a networking event, a trade show, a conference, a church service, some kind of seminar, that 96% of the people do not follow up after the first encounter. They don't follow up. Life gets busy. So the key thing is the fortune is in the follow up. The fortune is in the follow up. So after tonight, you want to reach out to people, send them a handwritten thank you card, handwritten postcard, make a telephone call to them, or what you can also do too, if you want to build more of a relationship, invite them to a dinner party. Start hosting a charity event at your home or some community center, some place where you can bring people together. You know, I, I have a very active lifestyle now where I can't meet everybody I know. I know people in 128 countries on the planet now, on all seven continents. And it took me 21 years to build. This is before LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter. I just use that just to give back and make a difference. I still use a telephone book. I like the cold call. I was terrified of cold calling. So back in the 1990s, I went and got a job as a telemarketer for minimum wage and I worked for McLean's Magazine. I used to do home intrusions at night between five and nine, and I would smile and dial and dial for dollars. And I just saw the other day, I was in a, a, a condominium building, just a couple weeks ago, I saw telephone books, yellow pages. I got so excited, because that's how I began. Does it make sense? I still go knock on doors. I still go cold call. Now I'm a little bit different than I used to, in terms of intensity. I used to, before uh, video surveillance cameras, and, and uh, alarm systems, I was so determined to meet with CEOs of companies that I would sneak in and hide in their offices overnight. I've been in trouble where I've actually jumped over people's fences into their yards, went up and rang their doorbell. I have barricaded CEOs in parking garages at their offices. I've done all kinds of things because I just wanted to succeed. I wanted to find out what do successful people do because success leaves clues. And I was fascinated by that, why people can go out and do something and just succeed in things. Does that make sense? And achieve things. Blew my mind away. And so the thing is, is that for, for yourself, is you got to realize, I'll give you an example. And we're filming this, so this will be great. How many of you ever remember a, a program called Telemiracle? It's in Saskatchewan, Alberta, called the Kinsman Telemiracle. OK, some of you remember this. It's kind of like the Variety Club here in British Columbia. So as a kid, I grew up in Swift Current, Saskatchewan, and every March they'd have the Kinsman Telemiracle. It's its 39th year this year. And I thought, you know what, I gotta get some attention. I wanna make a difference, I wanna get back. So I Google searched, and I spent a little time, I found out who the executive producer was for the Kinsman Telemiracle. And I cold called the guy 67 times last year, and not one return telephone call. And I called him twice already this year, when I just got back, I call him every week, plus sometimes two, three times a week. And I just keep leaving messages. And I talked to him just, just two weeks ago. Because I've never met somebody so more persistent in my life. He said, you want a job working with us in sales? We'll hire you. Because I was so persistent in following up. And the purpose of that was is because you've got to get attention. In your business, there's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of distraction. In the world today, there's so much noise. Would you agree? Yeah. That you've got to get attention. So how do you got to get attention? So I thought I need to get attention from over a million people who watch a show over a weekend. I want to give back, make a difference, but I want to take things to a whole new level. So the guy called me back, and, we're, and I, said, I said, great, I'll fly back to Saskatoon. I got lots of points. I'll fly back to Saskatoon. I'll meet you in Saskatoon. We'll go for lunch. He couldn't believe that I'd fly back, because I'm committed to whatever it takes. I'll make it happen. I'll get it done. Does that make sense? I'll create a sense of urgency. I just. Uh, and finalizing this week an opportunity of 17 years of follow-up with a Fortune 500 company I've always wanted to corporately train. 17 years of rejection. And they finally said yes. After 17 years, I would phone them Q1, 2, 3, 4. I'd phone them a minimum of four times a calendar year, as high as six to eight to 10 times a year. And I would consistently, for 17 years, get rejected as no. And the reason why is I had no formal education. And they only hire people with a formal academic education for a recognized college or university. But you see, whoever has more certainty wins, because I have a degree in results. When I walk into a company and they say, what's your background? Tell me a little bit about your background. I said, I have a degree in results. Is that what you're looking for? 
And people say, well, how do you do that consistently? <laughs> Does that make sense? Because they pay for results. Now, my industry in the corporate training world has changed drastically in the last five years. Company, companies have cut back budgets. They've gone online with webinars and teleconferences, which they're going to convert back to now because of the metrics of people not paying attention, not getting the results that they want to some degree. But you've got to constantly be reinventing yourself. There's days where I have no idea what I'm going to do, even though I have a set plan. I have no idea. There's some days I wake up, I'm totally scared. I was scared on Monday this week. I was terrified. Because I'm always pushing myself to another level. 